Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, guys. St. Shamrock and Savage. Um, day, I'm not really sure on the road trip, but this is burger review number... Number nine for me, I think. Number nine, or it's eight for me because I skipped lunch one day. Yeah. Um, so we're get, we're due at this. Um, we're working on our format, and I think we've pretty much got it. Uh, okay, so a little clarification. We never did clear this up in the beginning. The only reason that I eat ham, just the patties and cheese and possibly a scoop of chili is within the last three years, I've lost over 400 pounds um, through diet and exercise only. No surgery, no pills, no nothing. Um, so to stay on my plan, I can enjoy cheeseburgers. I just have to enjoy them a different way. That's right. So within this little journey that we're doing, I just want to show you that you can enjoy good food and stay on plan, you know. And good food is um, is all relative, right? So right. we're uh, on a short schedule today, and and what we decided was to keep the cheeseburger thing going. So we're looking to get to Greenville for a proper burger. But today, quick review, going to be Hardee's. Right. Yeah, Saint Shamrock was dying, so we had to pull over. So, so I think this one yep, may be one. yours. Yep. And you can go ahead and start with, continue with yours since you had the. All right. So, what I do on these instances, and Hardee's is pretty good about it. Um, it's just a burger. They have actual sandwich style lettuce, is what they call it, instead of the shredded. So that keeps me on plan. It's a monster burger. It's two. It's supposed to be two third pounds, but I mean, it once it's cooked down, but. I mean that's typical. I eat this quite a bit at home because seriously, if you're if you need something quick and you want to try to stay on plan, I know it's fast food, whatever, but it stays within my parameters because I don't do sugar, I don't do carbs typically. Um, keep that as low as I can. So typically, meat and green vegetables is what I do with some whole dairy. There you go. So here we go. And I hate to admit it, but I eat this a whole lot more than um, probably healthy back home. Got a little flavor saver on the outside of the yep, lip there. Yep. Yep, that'll be good. And uh how does that taste there? Is it it's it's um it's what I'm used to. Is it Eastern Hardy's doing it, yeah, Eastern Hardy's is taking care of the Midwest for us. Okay, that'll work. And uh here I just went with the typical quarter pounder, cheese, lettuce, pickles, a little bit of mustard. All right. I think they switched it though to a, a one third burger instead of uh just a whatever. They um, and they used to have a sesame seed bun. They changed that too, but they got the bougie buns right. now. They got the bougie buns. They need to keep it to the sesame seed buns now. Mmm. Hardies, your hardies. I mean, pretty much. I mean, it's. I mean, you gotta like the consistency of it. And I mean, I guess that is the one good thing about the chain places. If you're used to something and you can't absolutely find anything, kind of like driving through the middle of Indiana. They're consistent. Yeah, I mean, it's food. I don't know what it is about some burger joints, but when you only get one condiment only, mm -hmm. like mustard, you're like, well, he must really like mustard. <laughs> and they just squirt that shit on there. It's just all in there, man. So every time you take a bite, the mustard just comes out the side. Well, it's kind of like the mayonnaise on this. Yeah. It's like instead of a dollop, let's uh, drown it. Mm. I'll take a napkin over there. Yep. Thank you, sir. Mm. Well, well, I got to quit moving that napkin. I'm probably missing the audio a lot. It's all good. I, um, I think for mine, I think, man. <clears throat> mine's mine's getting one shamrock out of five. Oh. The burger seems like it was it's super pre cooked. Oh very much so. Yeah. So so you're gonna go with one shamrock? One shamrock. Oof. Um man, okay, so I guess I'm gonna go I'm gonna give them a one point five. Hmm. I'm going to do decimals because I feel like a five hamburger, that's like the best. And I'm going to steal this from Dave Portnoy. So you can cut that, Matt, if you think we need to. But a five is going to be the best burger you're ever going to have in your life. And you'll never have another one like it. Ever. Like that's the end all be all of cheeseburgers. Mm, I'm going to have to disagree with that. Because you can have great burgers. You can have five burgers. 
quite a bit, actually. But they're few and far between. Okay. So a perfect five. But if you do the decimal thing, you can still give them a love. Because, I mean, a four, if it's a really good hamburger, a 4.5 is saying, hey, you weren't quite there, but that is like the perfect cheeseburger. You know, that like that's the that's the cheeseburger in heaven type thing. You know, that's a five to me. Mm -hmm. I can get you on that. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. if you get someone like a 4.7, that's a high score. Well, it typically is on um, Google Maps. <laughs> right. So um, I'm going to go with a 1.5 just because it's filling a need and we're not hungry anymore. Yeah. So it's filling a need. We're not hungry. Yes, sir. Thank All you, right. Hardys. Yeah, thank you, Hardys, and thank you for watching. Bye.